I, at Amazon, there used to be this uh, uh, saying that I loved a lot. It said, uh, good intentions are not good enough. Uh, basically to say nobody has a bad intention. All of us have good intentions. Now, the problem with good intention is that it's not good enough. So then the follow up question is, if good intentions are not good enough, what is good enough? Uh, and the answer was mechanisms. Now, how do you put a mechanism to make sure a good intention works? So let's uh, let's take uh, Indigo, for example. We continue to keep reiterating uh, to our people. If there are three things that you need to remember about Indigo, remember these three things. And we call it a three legs tool. Uh, one is we want to be on time. We want to offer low prices. And thirdly, we want to have hassle free customer experience. If there is everything else you forget, don't forget these three. So we keep repeating this over and over again. And a lot of our training methodology, so we run iFly, iFly is the name of our training center. A lot of our training methodology continues to reinforce this. Of course, there's a lot of regulatory training uh, where you cannot go beyond a certain scope of what you want to talk about. But we continue to reinforce uh, that these are three things that are important. So what then happens, much like in Amazon, uh, in Amazon, you go and ask anyone, what does this company stand for? Whether they remember anything or not, they'll remember customer. So I think these are key words that, that leadership, uh, communication, and, uh, and employees and people, you continue to keep using over and over again. Um, so how do we codify this? So for example, at uh, Indigo, we say, if we need to be on time, what we do internally should reflect it. So our meetings start on time and they end on time. Uh, be it uh, internal meetings or meetings with the board of directors, meetings with my promoters or uh, CEOs, they, they often start on, start on time and they end on time. Now, there could be some exceptions here or there. Um, and uh, so how do we then do this at our training? Now, this is when you come into work. Uh, so for example, the VP of learning and the customer experience uh, at Indigo, her name is uh, Sumi Sharma, right, so, right outside her office, there is, a, there is a big board that she has. So at any given day, we, we run about 70 courses at iFly. And the board only has this. It has the name of the course, uh, start and end. And, and start and end are typified by color codes, uh, red, green, and yellow. Uh, if, um, uh, if, it, if the course started on time, it's a green. If it started within five minutes, it was a yellow. If it is beyond the five minutes, it's a red. And the intent is for us to, to find out what led to the delayed start of the course. Was it technology? Was it infrastructure? Was it people that didn't show up on time? Was it teachers? Was it, was it anything? And then you, the intent is not to go pick on people, but to make sure that we don't repeat that uh, again. So, so how do we get these uh, intention? The second thing, these are simple things, right? Um, and we have a cafeteria uh, for about a thousand people that attend uh, classes in a day, the cafeteria can, can only take 200 people. And so that means there is a staggered lunch time and you're almost like a student back in your, back in your school days. So you need to fi keep to those uh, lunch times. And secondly, we said, uh, unlike in other cafeterias, you can't use cash, you can't use credit cards. Um, and again, these are simple things. Uh, you know, the swipe of your card would basically make sure that we know that you've eaten at the cafeteria or you have not eaten in the cafeteria. So things like, what are those things that, that can make things much faster? And a lot of my classrooms are in the, uh, in the ground floor and in the first floor and in the second floor. And it's a six floor building. And so to make sure that, you know, the lifts don't get choked up. So the way the layout was done was, you can just walk to your classroom rather than wait for your elevators to come and take. So the simple little things uh, that, make, uh, that make a lot of difference, uh, I guess, in terms of, making sure your intention behind, um, right. the mechanism behind intention actually right. works.